back to my YouTube tutorial. This is eight number. Yes. Um, today we are going to check on photo therapy side. Just a photo therapy tips. Or if you are Photoshop user or you like using Photoshop or you want to switch to Photoshop and you want to know how to use the the camera raw uh, plugin or the camera raw this thing. Just to edit your image or any photos, or you are a photographer and you want to let your image pop in Photoshop. How do you do that? On this particular design, Photoshop has come out with this particular design a long ago. And normal people, if not photographer, uh, they only know this kind of uh, design and they normally use it. So, however, what we need to do is that this is the image that we are going to use to learn that photo particular distance tutorial so i just want to move it into photoshop just like that and as you can see there is photoshop and this is how the picture was being taken and i just got it that from google and this is how it was being taken all what we need to do over here is that you can see that the lighting was there the lighting over there lighting 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 you get that so the lighting is so they cannot have that interest and any photographer who is watching even knows what I'm, what I'm talking about here. So the lighting over here and all that is there. But I want to make the picture pop. I want to make the, the background, the everything, the editing, you know, it looks so beautiful. And I'm, I'm not going to use any lookup or any design. I just want to do it manually so that it will look beautiful for me. Yes. So the first thing I have to do over here is to uh, duplicate my layer by Ctrl J. Then I'll have a duplicate of this particular layer over there. You get that, yes. And the next thing is when I have to do over here is that I'll head over to filter. When I go to filter, where I'll come and pick up the camera roll filter over here. This camera roll filter, that is, that is where you can do the editing. Then I'll just click over there. Then I'll wait for it to load up my camera roll filter panel for me. So this is the camera roll filter panel. And then over here, there is the zooming. You can zoom up to work and all that. I know a lot of people don't really know this. And then over here, too, you can zoom it out again, just like that. And then this is hand where you can move your your this thing when you zoom it out without any problem. And then this is white balance too. You know, all this have a whole lot of use in Photoshop. And but for now, I just want to show you some kind of videos over there. If you really need this, then. I'll take you to another one. So what we need to do over here is that I want to separate the distance so that I'll have before and after. So this is before and this is after. You get that. So working with a, a picture or uh, an image like this, normally if you need a picture to look so, uh, to, to have some kind of quality and all those kind of things, there are certain things you need to do, you need to do before you come here so let's just close out this thing then i have it just like this over there then i'll head over to image then i'll come to mode so when i go to mode it should be rgb and then the bit i'm going to use 16 bit so that the quality uh, is going to be a little bit bigger and then uh when i move to color settings over here i'm going to use uh adobe 1998 that is correct one over there that i wish to use and then always use this particular edition so that it will be very very nice for you so let's head over to our camera filter again where we can do the editing and all that yes so let's come back and click over here so that we have the before and the after but i just want to zoom it out just like that so when i zoom it out just like that i'll come and pick the hand then i'll bring the hand I'll make it let you see them like this, okay? And that's look beautiful, so that I can see, I can see what I'm doing exactly, okay? Mm, yes. So the next thing again, I have to do is that the lighting or the the, the highlights on the this thing. For me, what I normally do is that I just have to close up or I just have to let the highlight go. You get that? You see, that is what I will now have. So this is before, this is after. You get that? This was how the picture is, and I uh, decreased the, the, the highlight, and this is what I have over there. And then over there, the whitening, I can sometimes, I normally have to let that one to go down, or I even increase, increase it. You get that. So it just depends on what I'm doing. And I can do it, and the next time I'll come and it again. So I'll just have it in this manner, and that's it. And then the clarity over here. I'm just going to have it that one to a little bit 
not that too much and that will be okay for me and the next thing again i have to do over here is that i'll head over to this particular place that's the calibration so the calibration that one it helps you uh on the background there are certain colors there it helps you make it pop instead of using huge and uh, instead of using this particular this thing citation instead of using citation and barbara yes also this particular uh, 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 uh calibration side it looks it makes it pop very nicer than that uh, uh vibration and then uh, what is the name the saturation you get that so over this place the saturation i just want to move that one to a little bit just like that as you can see you can see that pic the image is has changed drastically color you see it and look at this okay the image itself looks so beautiful and uh, it looks so interesting yes so the next thing again i have to do is that i just want to come uh somewhere here that's the hsl adjustment okay so the hsl adjustment we have the and we have saturation and we have luminance you get that yes so this place over how the thing works is that it's so amazing there are certain colors when you try to drag it, it 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 increase only a color let's say this is red so we are dragging the red over here you will see that a place that is red that one has to be increasing let's say the map over there and all that and as we are increasing it it changes that red to different thing you get that so as i'm increasing the red it changes to what it changes to orange over here so when i'm increasing it to this particular place it changes to what to this particular color too. you get that yes so that is how this place works okay that's how it works so over this luminous thing too that's how uh, that one too when you are increasing a green you see that the green over here increases okay so let's say let's come and increase the green because we have a green background yes so when I increase, you see that the green is highlighting. Let me close it back and see. You see, it become what? It become darker. Okay, it become darker. And then when I increase it, you see that it pop up. You get that it pop up. So having this way look beautiful. You know, not that lighting too much over there. And then having this way is also beautiful. Okay, so just leave it uh, thirty percent. And then uh, let's come and look at the magenta. Magenta. Looking at this dress over there, it may be the magenta. So let's let's see. Uh, increasing the magenta. You see, when so we're checking on this particular this thing, you can see that the dress or the structure of that lady is increasing and decreasing. So as you can see, it goes in, it goes out. You get that? Yes. So that is how this one too works. So after doing the magenta. It's only the, the color only applies to, the, to this particular uh, short, uh, shorts that uh, she's wearing. Okay, yes. And then when you are working with this, let's say let's use blue and see whether that one will work with that. You see that that one too is working with the the t shirt, the shirt too. You get that? Yes. And then uh, this thing is what that happens. And then when you are working with oranges like human color, you see that the face of the lady too changes to different things. You get that? It changes you get that yes so try as much of uh, when you are dragging you drag it a little bit so that it will affect the the face of the lady and all that okay so just try and drag it a little bit not that much and it looks beautiful with the this thing okay yes so let's come to uh citation i think we have no way to citation so working with plastic citation to is this is the place that you want to change the green to different color the, the, to fill the harmony of the image okay just to have some kind of thing so let's come to green as green color over there let's try and increase it as we are increasing it you see that the green changes to this to greenish you get that so you can bring it back again without any color and then you can increase it again you get that Yes, so that is how that one should work. If there is red anywhere, you can increase that one too. And that one too, when you are increasing it, the, the face of the little two increases. Okay?
previous, and that's how it works. So let's come to uh, yield. So working with yield here, I want the background over here to change between the different things. So that is where I come to green, and then I'll move it. You see that the green changes to different things all together. You see that the picture will look it will look different, okay? And what I'm bringing back, that is how it looks yellowish, okay? It looks yellowish, and then when I send it back, you see that it looks some kind of color. Let's say let's make it this way. It looks some kind of different, you know, very cool color, okay? Then you can have it just like this. Just now be okay for me. So that is the after. And that is the, the, the that is before and that is after. This this was how the picture is, and this is how I make it, as you can see. So the, look at this color and look at this color. So you can see that is drastically changing the color, uh, uh, the image of that lady to be different. So let's say let's zoom it out and see something over here. Let's zoom it out. You get that? Let's zoom it out. Okay. Yes. As you can see, so this one was the lighting was too much over there, and over here the lighting is a little bit. Uh, the harmony over there is look very beautiful, and uh, we can zoom it out again as you can see. Yes. So this place the lighting was there, everything was too much over there, and here this is how we make it look. It pop and looks very beautiful over there. You get that? Yes. So the next thing again we have to do over here is that. I just want to add up some kind of thing to it so that it's beautiful. So over this picture, the regal or this kind of uh, the, the, the regal filter, that is what I'm going to use. And then I can use it a little, not that bigger and not that uh, this thing, okay? So let's have it this way so that the, the focus will just be on the it on, on the person, you get that? The focus will just be on the person. As you can see over there, you get that. So anything I'm um, dragging here, the temperature. If I'm dragging the temperature, it only happens or it only applies to this place, but it doesn't apply to the image over there. You get that? Yes, that's how it is. So, uh, let's say the highlight. Let me turn it off. You see that it's turning off itself. And when I increase it, it increases. It it, it, it increases again. And when I turn it off, it turn off. You get that? Yes. So that is how that one should normally happen. And then you can sharp it, you can sharp it, you can reduce the noise, you can do a whole lot of things over there just to make your image look very, very good. You get that. And then over this place here, you can drag it again just to have uh, the, 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 just to change some changes to it and all that. You get that. And when you have it just like this, it looks very, very beautiful. And then you can have it just like that without any problem on that particular day. You get that. This will look good. You get that. So, taking on that, this is before and this is after. Then I cannot do that. I can just click OK. Then when I click OK and I wait, that is what I'll have at the end of the screen. You get that. Yes. So the image looks so beautiful and that is where you can make changes and all that to your image and it looks good. So, so beautiful for you. So, anytime you will have a picture, you will take a picture, a portrait picture or any kind of picture, then you just want to make it pop, just head over to the camera lens filter over there. Then you try and drag your 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 this thing, your properties very well, then you can have it look you can have it nicer and all that. But if you already have a a press a, 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 a process like this, you can also use it. You can as you can see I have a whole lot of presets over here. And all that is so beautiful for me. This is thousand raw process and all that, you know. And this is wedding camera filters and those things. Because I have, I'm working with the one particular company. Normally, I normally do the uh, when they take the pictures and all that. That is where I also uh, get something to that. Yes, I have to edit the uh, pictures and all that. Yes, as you can see. And then. This is my favorite filter that I normally use. As you can see, I have been showing you this particular filter all, all, all the time. And it looks so beautiful. When you are using this particular filter, that is where uh, you get more confidence and all that. Because this particular 
most of their friends, Kama, uh, Kama, uh, Kama, 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 Kama,